Hi students, this is Kartik Trivedi and you are watching a lecture series of Applied Thermodynamics with me. Hi students, in today's video, we are going to learn a properties of moist air or you can say psychrometric terms. So now from this video, we are going to start a new chapter that is called psychrometry. Now, this chapter is related to air conditioning. So when you are studying psychrometry, indirectly you are studying air conditioning. Okay, so now first we will understand what is psychrometry. So psychrometry is a branch of science or branch of engineering which deals with the thermodynamic properties of the mixture of dry air and water vapor. Now let us understand it very well by understanding the terms related to it. So when I say a properties of moist air that means I am talking about psychrometric terms. So sometimes in exam he will ask uh, define the properties of moist air that means you have to define all the terms. So this is just a part one. These are not all the terms. The remaining terms we will cover in next video in part two. So sometime in exam he will ask either the uh, define properties of moist air or he will write define psychrometric terms. Both are the same thing. So when he talking about the property of moist air means he is talking about the psychrometric terms. So first we have to understand uh, these terms and once we understand these terms then we can understand all the psychrometric processes. Okay. So first what is dry air? The first that we have to understand because right now in an environment you are living okay so it is a mixture of two things dry air and water vapor so what is dry air first let us understand what exactly you mean by dry air so dry air means it contains a mixture of number of gases such as oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen helium etc so it is a number of gases mixture of number of gases that is called dry air so when you are talking about the dry air it is a mixture of number of gases which is uh, present in the environment so that is called dry air second moist air now what is moist air okay so moist air means right now whatever the air that we have in our surrounding is moist air not air moist air moist air means it is a mixture of not only dry air is there but there are also some water vapor the moisture you can say moisture present in the air so it is a mixture of dry air plus water vapor so when i say moisture that means i'm talking about the mixture of dry air and water vapor so whenever now whenever i say from now onwards whenever i say air means i'm talking about the moisture means i'm talking about the mixture of dry air and water vapor so always remain, remember when you use the term air means you are not talking about just dry air because there are some most there is some moisture present in the environment so when you say air or when you say moisture means you are talking about the mixture of dry air and water vapor which is present in the environment so from now onwards when i say air when i say moisture that means i'm talking about the mixture of dry air and water vapor so psychrometry means what psychrometry means it is study of a mixture of dry air and water vapor both so you are studying the properties or you can say thermodynamic properties and the behavior of the mixture of dry air and water vapor so that is what do you mean by psychrometry so it is a branch of science it is a branch of engineering which deals with the thermodynamics property and the behavior of the mixture of dry air and water vapor or you can say it is the branch of engineering which study the thermodynamic property of moist air because when I say moist air means it contains both dry air plus water vapor so it is a mixture of dry air and water vapor so moist air is equal to dry air plus water vapor okay so remember this now next term is saturated air now what is saturated air so for particular at particular temperature and pressure so for that let's say there is a, some particular mixture of dry air and water vapor so for that mixture there is a, some particular temperature and pressure at which at which it contains how much amount of water vapor it contains that decide by the a particular pressure and temperature of that mixture so when i say mixture means i'm talking about dry and water vapor so let's say uh, if the when i say this air contains some some percentage of water vapor into it 
so i don't know exactly what amount of uh, percentage of water vapor that present in the air but how much amount of uh, water vapor will be present in the air that will be decided by the uh, particular pressure and temperature of the mixture so when i say mixture means i'm talking about dryer and water vapor so when you say saturated air so first we will let's say there is a capacity let's say at this particular temperature right now right now let's say there is a temperature of 33 degrees celsius right now okay so this particular temperature there is a let's say the uh, water vapor let's say there is 30 percent water vapor is present in the air so let's say at 33 degrees celsius a water vapor is present in the air but we know that the saturated air is means it is that air which contains the maximum amount of vapor that it can hold at that particular temperature so let's say at 33 degrees celsius at 33 degrees celsius if water if, if at 30 degrees celsius if air can contain a maximum amount of 70 percent of water vapor into it and right now right now at 33 degrees celsius at particular temperature the air can contain 70 percent of water vapor at max this is the maximum amount of water vapor that can air hold at 33 degrees celsius but right now right now the water vapor is 50 percent at 33 degrees celsius that means what it is less than the maximum so air is not saturated that means air is not saturated not saturated means it is not containing the maximum amount of water vapor that it can hold at this particular temperature but let's see if if now now the water vapor that is present in the air is 70 percent that means what at 33 degrees celsius right now the maximum water vapor that air can hold that is 70 percent and also it uh, it is containing the 70 percent it is containing the maximum amount of water vapor that it can hold so it is having the maximum capacity right now so it means it is saturated air saturated air means it contains the maximum amount of water vapor that it can hold okay so that is called saturated air so when you say saturated air that means you you are talking in terms of temperature because if now right now if i will change the temperature then the maximum amount of water vapor that can it hold will be changed so it depends upon the temperature and also it depends upon the pressure of the mixture okay so at particular temperature there is a particular capacity of water vapor that it can maximum hold so if it can if at that particular temperature if it, it is holding the maximum amount of water vapor that it can hold that means that air is saturated and if it is not holding the maximum amount of water, water vapor then it is unsaturated so when you say saturated air, that means it containing the maximum amount of water vapor into it, into it. Okay. So that's how you will understand. So saturated air means it is a mixture of dry air and water vapor when air has contained maximum amount of water vapor into it. Means it contains its maximum capacity. Now dry bulb temperature. So it is the temperature or you can say it is the ambient air temperature measured by ordinary thermometer so let's say right now the temperature is 30 degree celsius of the air so that is called dry bulb temperature dry bulb temperature means it is a current temperature right now let's say right now you will have a 22 uh, 28 degree celsius temperature so that is called dry bulb temperature so dry bulb temperature is nothing but the right now what is the temperature of ambient air that is the dry bulb temperature so dry bulb temperature is nothing but is the ambient air temperature measured by ordinary thermometer so whatever the temperature right now it is known as dry bulb temperature okay so dry bulb temperature is not a special thing whatever the temperature right now that is called dry bulb temperature understand okay next wet bulb temperature now here this is an important thing it is the temperature of air measured by a thermometer using sensing bulb covered by wet cloth now what is this let us understand so there will be a one device something like this in which in which you will have a two thermometer let's say this is uh let's say this is one thermometer and there is another thermometer like this 
okay so this is known as sling psychrometer there are two devices which measure all these things psychrometric property dbt and wbt for measuring the dbt and wbt dbt means dry bulb temperature and wbt means wet bulb temperature for measuring dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature there are two devices which is present in the market one is hygrometer and another is sling psychrometer so this is sling psychrometer so let's say it contains this is the handle from which you can rotate this device like this okay and there are two thermometer so this is the two thermometer over here and this the bulb like this this is called sensing bulb which measure the temperature so see this is this the bulb is measuring the dry bulb temperature okay so right now whatever that a uh, temperature of air is there that is measured by dry bulb temperature so we know that that is cut down and here is wbt why wbt because this is the thermometer this is sensing bulb now what i will do i will take a weight means i will take cotton, cotton cloth i immerse that cotton cloth into the water so it is known as wet cotton cloth so if now i am going to take wet cotton cloth and i am going to attach i am going to attach at this sensing bulb i am going to attach a wet cotton cloth at this sensing bulb now what will happen now will i will take this psychrometer and now i am going to rotate it so what will happen the air will pass the air the flow of air will be passing through this wet cotton cloth so what will happen so as this wet cotton cloth is immersed in water so what will happen the evaporation of the water evaporation is happening at this cloth so what will happen water vapor will be added into the air so evaporation is happening at here at wet cotton cloth so what will happen the temperature will be reduced so temperature will be reduced at sensing bulb so here you will get the temperature which is always less than dry bulb temperature so always remember the wet bulb temperature is always less than dry bulb temperature so it is a temperature of air measured by thermometer using sensing bulb so this is sensing bulb covered by wet cotton cloth so always remember a wet bulb temperature is less than dry bulb temperature because here the evaporation will happen so cooling will happen so the temperature will be less than the dry bulb temperature so that is the logic now for saturated air dry bulb temperature is equal to wet bulb temperature why for saturated air because if you if the, if the air is saturated then the evaporation will not happen because the air is saturated that means what it contains the maximum amount of water vapor that it can hold so if the air saturated is air is passing through over here and even though this uh, uh, sensing bulb is covered with wet cotton cloth but the evaporation will not happen because the water vapor cannot be generated and added to the air because that uh, the air which is over here is saturated air, so it is already having a maximum amount of water vapor so no more water vapor can be added into it so at that time for saturated air for 100% relative humidity air a dbt equal to wbt so always remember so at that time there will be a no evaporation so that this temperature and this temperature will be same for saturated air okay now six wet bulb depression so it is a difference between dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature dry bulb temperature minus wet bulb temperature now dew point temperature now what is dew point temperature so it is the temperature at which condensation of moisture begins when the air is cold so now first let us understand that is also known as adiabatic saturation temperature you can say dew point temperature or adiabatic saturation temperature so let us say first understand what is dew point temperature so dew point is a point at which you are containing 100% so you are containing maximum amount of water vapor that you can contain so dew point is maximum amount of water vapor point so you are having a maximum amount of water vapor so from now this temperature if you are going to cooling it down further so what will happen so first understand the more air will be cooled the less air water vapor it can contain so this is the logic so now you are dew point dew point means you are containing the maximum amount of water vapor that you can contain into the air so at dew point you are having a maximum amount of water vapor and now what you will happen now if you are cooling it down further so what will happen so for so what will happen so for the capacity of containing water vapor will be reduced because it is cooled down further so whatever the additional so whatever the water vapor is there so some of the water vapor will be fold down in the form of dew so that means you can say condensation is happening so it is the temperature 
एट विच कंडेंसेशन ऑफ द मोस्टर बिगिन वेन एयर इज कोल्ड बिकॉज वाई दिस इज एपनिंग बिकॉज एट द ड्यू पॉइंट यू आर हैविंग मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर पेपर सो नाउ यू कैन नॉट होल्ड मोर अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर पेपर सो वेन यू कूलिंग डाउन एट दैट पॉइंट यू आर कूलिंग डाउन फर्दर your capacity of holding the water vapor will be reduced so what will happen so the water some of the water vapor will be fold down in the form of dew so that is called the dew point temperature so that means what the dew point temperature is the temperature at which condensation of the moisture begins when the air is cooled okay and now dew point depression dpd means dew point depression dew point depression means drybulb temperature minus dew point temperature so now the remaining psychrometric terms that we'll cover in the next video i hope you will like this video have a nice day bye bye